Hey everyone, Mel again from the 441. It is 9.45 at night, everyone is gone to bed and I am here waiting for a wash. Um, declutter wise, today, I don't know if this one counts um, because I'm working on my own website for whenever I do start my feng shui business, which I had in my head kind of July. But there is so much going on in the background to start a business and create a lot of stuff. So I'm just slowly tipping away at it and I'm here working on the website. So I'm going through a lot of photos that I had the pleasure of taking last week with Steph. And I'm just slowly chipping away at a daunting project because the website I'm using is not as streamlined as something like Wix or Squarespace or whatever, but um, it has a lot of other features that down the track will be more beneficial to me, hopefully, than um, Squarespace or Wix. So yeah, today's declutter with me is another working on one of those unfinished projects um, that need to be done. Um, I also managed to get rid of an attachment that somebody had bought that I was going to drop off to them, but turned out he needed a trailer today. So he picked that up, which was awesome. And while he was there, we noticed that part of his machine was broken. There was an air filter, it's kind of like a pre-air filter dust catcher thing um, and I have to give credit to Tom for this one because he seen it was all smashed up and he went hang on a minute I'm pretty sure we have one that should fit that I presume they're all universal and we sold a machine nearly a year ago and when we got the new engine for that or actually it would have been the previous machine but that model um, they left us with the old air filter and they just put a new one on the machine and I'm pretty sure that'll fit it. So credit where credit is due. Tom gave him that and it was a perfect fit and he was all delighted because he was like, my mate said to me that I bet you in six months time that um, will still be sitting there. So yeah, look, I'll, I'll show you guys. I'm trying to get better with the camera angles show you guys what i'm working on at the moment so that's just some photos i'm currently trying to find a nice photo of me that i haven't used yet steph really likes this one so we'll see what that looks like it's actually kind of cool uh, maybe i could do a bit there about the elements but this i'm going to change to some business stuff this is um something i wrote up seeding so that bit's done i might change the background color because it's not really one of my colors and this i want to either i want to kind of make it a little bit bigger and make this a little bit smaller see it's just a little it's a tiny bit finicky to work with this website but i'm hoping that um i'm hoping that with time it'll get easier. I wrote all that the other day. I put in this photo uh, that I had wrote the other day. And um, oh, I better save the page before I change. The front page I'm pretty happy with as well. So yeah, just slowly, slowly plugging away at it um, I still have to do my whole services page and everything um, but I'd like to do my four consultations to get qualified before I do those um, yeah let's just level load up because it's a little bit slow to load up so that is kind of what it's looking like at the moment Um, don't know if that background photo, I might see if I can change it to something else. This speaker, I want to change to something else as well. Um, I've got to change these to maybe some other photos from the website. Um, but that's that page. 
I do want to change that, so maybe I'll change that with you guys on the phone while you guys are here and see if I've got something that I can use. Um, thing I've noticed with some of these is you kind of need to be off to the side. So like this is cool, but this probably won't work there. But maybe the background. I wonder if I make it bigger or if I delete that. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, because then you kind of do get a bit of me. That's not too bad. That is a little bit better, if you guys can see that. Um, yeah. So this I want to change. Um, and put in some stuff there and then i think i'm just going to save that page before i change it then there's all the background stuff because even though you make it look pretty you still have to worry about the seo in the background um courses i'm going to delete that page for now because i don't know when i'll be ready to do a course so i wonder how i go about just i don't even think i've been on this page yet to be honest I thought I had deleted it. I thought I literally had it as three pages. Yeah, so that's obviously still the sampler page. Maybe it was, why, if I just want to get rid of this page, how do I do that? I think I have done a bit about the contact us page, but I might have to change the photos in it. But I'm delighted with Steph because we took about 200 photos that day. Um, and at least now I have some for the website, but I need to do more professionally type photos um, that even some of this might not be suitable for because this was more outdoors. And half these photos I've just noticed have not uploaded maybe that one there but yeah that one looks pretty good so yeah so that one I'll just see if I can change maybe that background because I like the purple but sometimes the purple can be a little bit much on this one. Mm. I changed that color. It's pretty, but it's um too bright. Ah, oh, the joys of doing websites. That one, because if you don't see me, yeah, that one looks kind of different, maybe. This color, the color of that button, I would like to change if I can. Yeah, sometimes it just feels a bit limited, but yes, courses, I want to get rid of that name. Let me just delete that. Sweet. So home about services contact. That is all I want for now. Let's save all that. And then hopefully that will get rid of courses. Oh, we're at low power mode. But yeah, this is a, um, a software called Go Modern. I did sign up for the legacy lifetime, whatever you want to call it, deal. So I got the website and um, some like social media management and a MailChimp service and a lead generator funnel thing, which is something I know nothing about and I need to do some research on. And the other thing was... Um, 
what is your team's win? Oh yeah, there's CRM built in. So that when anybody does want to um when anybody does want to work with me, I can kind of have all their history in one place so that if they sign up three months ago but they're not ready, but they've messaged me and then when they do call back or email back or whatever. I can be like, do you still want to work on X, Y, or Z, or would you like to work on something new, etc. A lot of businesses work with a CRM, and I am very wary. Like, I'm happy to use it, and I think it's a good thing. However, um, it has to be genuine. Like, I've got people... Like, for example, my finance broker, I talk to him multiple times a year, multiple times a month sometimes. He's awesome and his assistant is awesome. But I get the generic happy birthday text from a different number that I know is not him. And even though I love him, I just know that because I guess it's more of a personalized service, it just feels weird that I get a text message from him from a different number and I know what's the CRM if that makes sense so yeah I do want to be very careful with how I use it um I actually don't know how to get rid of this page people so this might be a 10 minute thing by itself which is a bit crap actually that I can't just take out the whole page that's the one thing about this um, Go Modern is it is a little bit hard to um, to just let it flow. Like I built a website with Wix, but I'd already paid for this for me, and I said I'm going to stick with it because once I get over the tediousness of building it. But I know for a fact that if I had built it with Wix, I would have been done hours ago and I could have moved on with my life. But I'm hoping that not having to pay for all the other features will make up for that. Um, but yeah, maybe I just have to save and then go back into like... That's SEO preview. Um because I have to do all the SEO stuff on the background, but that can be for another day. Um, yeah, I want to get into the fun stuff with this, but part of me is stopping myself from getting into the fun stuff because, oh yeah, there you go. So once you go back to the site, if you can see that guys, then, hopefully I can just delete. There we go. Oh. I have to type in delete below. At least that will be that one gone. I can always add in a page later. So now we've got home about services contact us, even though I feel like these two are very much the same. Um, services I haven't really done anything with yet. This one, I still don't love it, but at what point do I just go, you know what, let's make it live. Let's get some feedback from people. Like I could ask the people in my feng shui course, what do they think? And if they could give me some feedback. Um, yeah, and I would like to have a page for my blog posts as well. Um... I don't know why this services page is taking a while to load. Um, unless I even, can I like make one offline or something? Without like, so then I can have it in the background ready to go, but then make the rest of it live. If anyone out there has uh, done anything with Go Modern, um, with that kind of lower setting one, amazing yeah so this is kind of where I definitely need to probably do my four if you got sorry guys my I'm not, am I getting any better with the camera I don't feel like I am this one I feel like needs um 
more working on my my um it's tired i'm tired it's 10 o'clock at night it's 10 01 actually actually 10 01 is an ancient number if ever i see a number that it's mirror i always look it up so let's see <clears throat> i think it's actually got to do with stepping into your your alignment with your soul or um yeah kind of stepping into who you're meant to be kind of or whatever oh no it's a soul awakening okay well bring it on i've already done a couple of soul awakenings so bring it on seeing angel number 1001 can mean you're due to go through a soul awakening very soon this number is one of change new beginnings and personal development on a spiritual level yeah there you go um okay I'm going to go see how long I'm in this washing machine. I don't really know if I showed you guys much of my declutter today. It's just been so bloody busy this week that... Another hour and 40 minutes. I think they did that on purpose because it's the very first setting. And I swear to God, it's about four hours long of the setting. And yes, I do need to clear in here again. I went charity shopping tonight. And Tom did some repairs on the weekend and I got a candle from my beautiful friend Francie Lapellier. I'm probably saying that wrong, but Terry, she makes amazing candles and I love her for it and I have her candles everywhere. Here is another one. This one's Atticus Rouge, it's actually got Palo Santo on it. Um and she's about to relaunch her stuff very soon. So we are very much trying to help motivate each other at the moment to find time to work with everything. And I think she said she was going to come out my way once the kids come back to school. Oh. So yeah, um, it'll be good to even have this done or to a place where I'm happy to launch it, but for her to critique it. Um, because she's really good with design. Design is still something I want to learn a lot more. Like to her, it comes so naturally. She is so good with design. Um, that yeah, hang out with the people um, that can teach you stuff. Always be the stupidest person in the room. And yeah, because otherwise you become the average of the not that it's a bad thing, but you can become the average of the five people around you. So you want to make sure that the five people you spend the most time you're with um, elevate you and leave you walking away with a full cup and not an empty cup. And when it comes to me and Terry, I'm sure she'd say the same, but we fill each other's cup. And that is what you want. So yeah, I don't know what to do now. I think I might just go to bed because I am not staying up another hour and 40 minutes um, till 12 o'clock for a wash and I'm sickened with that machine. Like I love the machine because you can put in a whole litre of detergent in it at, like when it's empty and I haven't touched it yet in three weeks or whatever it's been and it um, self measures. So for that aspect I think it's great because it's more efficient and it's probably using less detergent than what we would be. But when the first setting, if you forget to twist it, um, because it's mercury retrograde, the first fucking wash is four hours long. It actually has a power cycle that's 49 minutes long and it's usually what I use. Well, anyway, I'm waffling. I have to have the kids down to um, school. Or before school care, ush care, even tomorrow at six thirty because I need to be at the yard for seven. So I think I'm gonna call it quits, um, and go to bed and deal with all this tomorrow. So I hope you guys are going well. If um anyone is tagging along with me, it's uh today's your message to go and fix, finish, or even just spend ten minutes chipping away at something that has been bugging you that you've been trying to finish for a while and even 10 minutes can make a dent because even 10 minutes can make it feel less daunting so yeah well that you know, guys i waffled for nearly 20 minutes um 
yeah a fair play if you've managed to stay here to the end my dog is here scratching himself in the background um so if you've made it to the end of the video you can leave me a puppy dog emoji thanks guys i'll catch you tomorrow where we will declutter something else and i will try my best to declutter with you cheers